Hey guys, it's me Stace. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. For today's video, we're doing a Make It Now project. That is a little pop-up card. Never did that before, so I thought we can go ahead and try that together. You want to go to your computer and go to cricut.com slash design. You're going to see this screen here. Upper left-hand corner where it says account, go ahead and click on that. Then click on sign in. Enter in your email and your password. Then you can verify you're logged in when your name appears in that green box. We can see our name there. Stay on this screen. You want to scroll down until you find the card section. And I believe there's five uh, pop-up cards that we can go ahead and try. So keep on going to see the card area. All right, so we have a little onward pop-up card, which is like a little camper, some waves, a birthday one, a lamb, and also a scooter. We're going to try this one here, the onward pop-up card. Click on that. It'll bring up the preview window for you, as well as the materials. It says you need adhesive turquoise cardstock, matte pattern paper, and craft paper. I don't have the matte paper, and you can see that behind there. I'm just going to be using a polka dot paper. For the assembly, it tells you to fold the card and the envelope along the score line, so it's going to cut out the card as well as the envelope for you. Use the Cricut scraper or a bone folder to go ahead and increase all your creases. Then glue the turquoise rectangles to the back of the onward text. You can see that there, that way your lettering will show through. And then glue the arrow on top of the card, and then fold the card so it pops out. It is a subscribed card, so if you have the subscription plan through Cricut, you should be fine to go ahead and cut this out for free. Lower right hand corner, go ahead and click on customize so we can see the images that are going to cut out. Kind of gives an idea. Alright, so we have the envelope or the card base as well as the envelope. This piece here, that's the pop-up part. Uh, these blue pieces, I guess, are your turquoise, and you can see they're going to go behind the camper and the text so they kind of show through. I don't see the matte paper anywhere, but we're going to go ahead and see what we got. I right, go ahead and click on go. I had the machine turned on and I had the dial setting set to cardstock. All right, and it looks like we have four mats. We have one for the blue, which is our pieces and our arrow, a brown piece for the camper part, which is the actual pop-up card, the envelope, as well as the card base. Now you see here there are scissors. That's going to cut it out. And then the little blade here is the scoring tool. So you do need the uh, scoring stylus to go ahead and cut it out. I'm going to start with this piece. I'm using all craft paper for the all my envelope pieces and the card base. All right, go ahead and click on go. I'm going to go back to that guy. Click on go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut these out and meet at the table, and we'll go ahead and try to put the card together. All right, guys, we're all cut out. We have our card base. Go ahead and increase that. And I use uh, the Stampin' Up! craft card stock for all of my pieces. So there's the base. Here's the envelope, and then we have the score marks. Going to increase all those up. This is a really nice, like a really thick uh, crust paper. Really nice. All right, then you're going to go in and assemble, assemble your envelope just like that. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on my lines here. Right there and along there. That's going to fold up our envelope for us. Okay, so there's the envelope. Isn't that cute? All right. Now, the one thing it did not tell us about was the matte paper, which I told you I was using polka dot paper. Didn't tell us the size, so I went and cut this to be four by five and a quarter. This is your standard A2 size card. So we're gonna glue this on, just at the back of it. It did say we needed two pieces. I'm guessing the other one would be for the envelope liner, but I'm not gonna worry about that either. Just kind of do the card here to so get that guy on there. All right, so we have that done. Here's the this piece here. I'm a little nervous about this. There is score marks. So I'm gonna increase those down. And this is a pop-up card, so you want to really focus on those score marks really well. There's another one right here. And one at the tires. didn't come out the way to go. Okay, so at the tires, there's a score mark. So I'm going to fold those guys down. I need to fix that one tire. I kind of tore it. I'm going to take that out. So there, 
is our card, but you want to have the camper facing you. Okay. Oh, there we go. See how that kind of works? Pretty neat. All right, so you want to glue your pieces behind there first. I'm just actually going to be using scotch tape to kind of hold those down. I think that'll be fine. Let's make sure you cover all that. Put a piece of tape there. Just make sure you're not interfering with the actual um, folding part of the card. Okay, and another little piece to kind of hold that down. Right here. And then one more right here. Okay, so we have that one down, so our word shows. That's kind of cute, right? I think glimmer paper would be, would be uh, really cute behind there. All right, now you have this piece, that squiggly line, and this piece here. Also, the door. Look how cute that is. The door does kind of swing open. That's kind of fun. Okay, go ahead and open the door. Crease that so he's opened. All right. Flip it over. Take some tape. And see where the squiggly line is? That's where your first piece of blue goes. Glue that one down, or tape it down in my case. Okay, then we have this little one right there for the front. Glue that one down, and again, you don't want to go near your um, fold lines. And to cut some of that tape off. That's too big. That should be pretty good. Yep, see that? Okay, now we need to glue this to this. All right, how do we do this? All right, this piece appears to be bigger than my actual card. Because there's little ends there. No, I guess it lines up. Okay, we're gonna first, I'm gonna first glue this piece down, uh, then we'll figure out the actual card. all their glue there and I'm going to start with these little doogie things up here and just glue them right on top of the card base. Make sure it's even left and right all the way around it and then just give it a little squish. I'm going to flip it over. Give it a little rub. You can use a brayer. I think that'll be easier. Okay so that guy's down. Now you want to glue this guy down. Pretty easy right? So you want to have them standing when the card's opened, but also to be able to lay flat. Okay, like that. So I'm just going to flip them over. I'm actually going to be using a wet glue. I'm going to use Tombow glue here. All right. So go ahead and glue all this. How cute is this? Well, we don't know yet, right? It's all together. All right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to fold him down because I want the card to be opened. I think that'll work. Just kind of fold him down. It's not going to work. Okay, I'm going to have the card up a little bit. Okay, so he's glued. So I just line it up on the bottom. I'm going to give it a squish so it lays flat. And the card, you want to make sure it closes. Just kind of get it on there and just work the card a little bit. Take a brayer if needed and kind of Give everything a little squish so it opens and then you have your pop-up. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. Super fun. I love it. What I'd probably do, I'd probably go in there with like a window sheet and um, put that in the windows there. Like a piece of acetate for the windows and the little windows there. But how fun is that? I love that. Um, you can always take another piece of paper. Do I have one over here? Oh, it's too big. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and cut this guy down to be four by five and a quarter as well. So this is um, five and a quarter. Is it five and a quarter? Yeah, okay, by four. So you can glue this to the front of the card, which we're going to do there. So the front's not so plain. So it's like a little camper. So it's great for if you're going on like a little trip or somebody's going on a trip or moving. I think that would be really fun too if they were moving it. Um, into a new house. That'd be kind of fun for the card. Okay, so glue this on the front. Oh, I forgot the arrow. Oh, dang it. All right, the arrow kind of goes up here somewhere. All right, did the arrow. Okay. 
kind of shove him behind there as much as you can. Should have glued this on first. I didn't even write something on there, like good luck or something like that. All right, let's gonna pop in the little envelope and see how. Oh, that's really cute, guys. I like that project. So you have the envelope and the card. I would most certainly do something here as well in the little pop-up. Isn't that fun? See that? Really easy to make, so I was actually shocked. So we're gonna go at it tomorrow, maybe make the other ones. We'll make a set of, um, we'll make all of them. I think there was four or five. But there you have it, guys. Today's Make It Now project. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.